Investigators are hoping someone will come forward with information after releasing this video to us yesterday. It's a car in an area where Tom Beerson's body was found in Moorhead in September. Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Investigators still don't know why that car was in the area and still can't identify the make, model, or license plate. Police aren't sure it's connected to the disappearance and murder of the NDSU student, but they aren't ruling anything out as evidence right now. Valley News Team's Bradford Eric joins us now with much more on this. Bradford? Mike, Stephanie, since we posted that surveillance video and photos to our website and social media yesterday, tips and opinions as to what type of car it might have been have been flooding in. Today, Valley News Live's graphic artist Lynn Trellstad digitally enhanced the photos investigators provided us to get a better look at the car. I then took those pictures to the experts, a car dealership, where they see hundreds of makes and models every day. Their opinion? Looks like a Ford Taurus. And uh, why do you say that? Uh, the contour of the, the top of the car, the tail lights, it's a little rough to see, but it looks the side of the body, about a 2003 Ford Taurus is what I would say. Matt Sharp has been with All City Auto in Fargo for a few years, and part of his job is to photograph each and every car that comes into their lot. Right on the side of the body, you can see running along the middle of it, mm -hmm. it kind of contours in. Okay. That's that's very typical of a Ford, uh, Ford Taurus, and also the way the the trunk lays out to me, it looks looks to be like a Ford Taurus. Even the front of the hood, I can tell. When you see enough of these, you kind of start to know them. Other employees at All City Auto didn't want to be on camera, but told me their opinion. Some said it looked like a Nissan Altima because of the tail lights. Others said perhaps a Saturn model, or maybe even a Pontiac or perhaps a Dodge Neon. I passed the information along to Moorhead Police who continue to investigate what happened to Beerson over that three-day span of when he was reported missing and when they found him. Investigators told me today that they are continuing to follow up any information coming out of releasing the pictures and video, but they are not any closer to identifying the car, its license plate, or just what it was doing in the area. And remember, police are not even sure this is connected to the Beerson murder. They're just trying to follow up leads and eliminate all possibilities. Mike, Stephanie? All right, thank you, Bradford. And stay with Valley News Live. Any new information that we learn will be passed along to you.